friends of First Christian. This is Brady Bry, Senior Minister of First. You know, by now we're figuring out that things are not going on as normal. That things have screeched to a halt and a level of fear is gripping our hearts and our minds. It's got a hold of our souls. And so I'm coming to you in the midst of this fear and with all these different voices of noise to give you a little bit of peace. Probably you're finding yourself checking the news multiple times a day. Perhaps it's even on in the background right now. And I just want to encourage you during this time to go ahead and turn it off. Check in maybe a couple times a day so that you'll know what's going on, but that should be enough two times a day. What I'd like to give you is just a little exercise for you and for those that are in your home to provide a little bit of peace during this time of anxiety and increased stress. And what we're gonna do is find a comfortable seated position and put both feet firmly on the ground. If you've got anything in your hands, let go of it and set it aside. And if you need to, pause this and get settled, and take some deep breaths. We're gonna read from Psalm 46, and I'm gonna read it through very slowly. And I want you to listen for a word or a phrase or something that impacts you. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with tumult, there is a river whose stream make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High God. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice and the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought upon the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. A second time, please hear this reading from Psalm 46, listening for a word or a phrase. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake into the heart of the sea, Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High God. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice and the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought upon the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow 
and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. This would be a good time for you to pause and share with someone close by or even just reflect quietly to yourself the word or the phrase that you heard. This time, as I listened through, I heard the refuge that is our God. It's the way this psalm begins. God is our refuge. It's the way this psalm ends. God is our refuge. But right in the middle is an unusual statement where everything is calm. Even though mountains are quaking, even though they're being thrown into the sea, even though everyone is afraid. But in the center of this passage, it talks about this place where God is in the middle of the city that shall not be moved. What I'm imagining is a place where we are dwelling with God. We're finding God dwelling inside of us in the center of our very being. And so I want to leave with you whatever phrase or word that you heard but today I want your body to stay home, to stay home in the joy of God. I want you to wash your hands in the peace of Jesus. I want you to breathe in the hope of the Holy Spirit. That is my blessing and that is my prayer for you today, that your body will stay home in the joy of the Lord and that you will wash your hands in the peace of Jesus and that you will breathe in deeply the hope of the Holy Spirit. May God be your refuge today.